Good evening. Welcome to the BBC News at six. If he appeared nervous at first, it was an increasingly confident and unrepentant Tony Blair who appeared before the Iraq inquiry today. Mr. Blair took his place. He looked pensive. Good morning. Good morning. Gala, at some point, the West has got to get out of this, what I think is a wretched policy or, or posture of apology um, for believing that we are causing what the Iranians are doing or what these extremists are doing. We're not. The fact is they're doing it because they disagree fundamentally with our way of life and they'll carry on doing it unless they are met by the requisite determination and, if necessary, force. Well, let's be clear about one thing. The man who is in front of the Chilcot inquiry today has personally profited from the war that he began against Iraq. He said today in his defense, let's not look at what happened in 2003. Let's look at what Iraq looks like today. Well, we want to look at 2003. We want to look at the decision that took us to war with Iraq. But we don't mind answering the question about Iraq today. Tony Blair has said it's better because Saddam Hussein has gone. But Saddam Hussein is not the only Iraqi who has gone in 2010. There's another million Iraqis who are dead, dispersed, and lost their homes and their families because of what that man did. It's not just about one Iraqi, it's about an entire country that was destroyed by this man's war.